quest for pepperoni. This is a rough draft of a story I wrote for my English 1301 class. Um, anyhow, this is back in September 8th of 2009. Quest for pepperoni. In the food court of the Midland Mall, the wafting aromas of melting cheese, garlic, tomato sauce, and pepperoni began to tickle the olfactory glands of Daniel Wayne Johnston, the alias I was given at birth. What began as a tickle now awakened the beast, inciting a savage hunger for pepperoni pizza from the best pay-per-slice pizzeria for 500 miles. Making no waste of time, I double-timed my once lazily clawed stops of being reductively dragged from department store to department store into a fervent march of purpose on toward my quest for pepperoni paradise. My destination was none other than that of Lucas Pizza's. Owned and operated by the same man, as far as I can tell, the duration of my entire life. Whether in the disarray of my own pizza procuring expedition, or by some other factor eluding my skills of supposition, I began to ponder this man, or pizza making machine he seemed to be. Doing the skilled labor of four or five people, he made pizza, processed orders, ran cash register, talked to customers, all while keeping a noticeable buzz of energy, while still being customer service aware, I'll say, um, seemingly wishing you to hurry up while being prompt to field any inquiry. I believed, and still do to this day, that in some post-apocalyptic wasteland of machines, giant cockroaches, and vast oceans of a world eerily similar to that of Kevin Costner's infinite, infamously most budgetarily wasteful film, that this man would somehow be here running this pizzeria that my feet so swiftly brought me upon. During my momentary lapse of focus, a woman looking quite similar in both appearance and pinched for crime as why on a rider, pilfered Luca's rolling pin. Thoughts of horror screamed through my head as I knew that a missing rolling pin would immediately put a damper, nay, an end to my hopes of being fulfilled in my consumption of that most electable of Italian cuisine. Faster than a power granger can say it's morphin' time, I sprang into action, tearing away the jump rope from a nearby little girl, and with the Indiana Jones-esque movement, I whipped Miss Ryder's feet, uh, following her getaway attempt as she came crashing down hard as her horizontal momentum curvilinearly became perpendicular to its previous velocity. I snatched away Luca's prized rolling pin away from this disheveled miscreant of society and promptly presented my do girders trophy to him on bended knee in a traditional style of a kinsei sword would be to a master samurai. With a tear in his eye, he gratefully took back his rightful possession. With a quick jerk, he asked me what I'd like to eat. As mall security cleaned up the aftermath of my caper thwarting measures and returned to the little girl's jump rope, having worked up quite an appetite, I told him I would take an entire pizza pie, thick crust, pepperoni, sausage, hamburger, pineapple, mushrooms, black olives, extra sauce, extra cheese, three times over. To be blessed, to my blessed fortune, Lucas said, coming right up and don't worry, it's on the house. Now, with tears streaming from my eyes at such a moment of generosity repaid, I proclaim for all to know that Luca of Luca's Pizza is the greatest pizza man in history of the profession, and I would be honored for him to be godfather of all my future children. From that day on, I came to study the ways of the great Luca, to master the fine art of pizza production, in hopes that one day I, too, could be immortalized under the neon lights of my own pizzeria, Dan's Pizza.